Hello, have you ever got data and instead of coming in an Excel file, it comes in a text document, .txt. So here's an example, I've got this sample data text file and if I wanted to start adding up some numbers or taking averages or make a pivot table some of these numbers based on some of these attributes i can't really do it so what i can do is i can click anywhere in this text file and i'll press Control a that'll select everything within the text file and i'll press Control c to copy that data I'll open up a blank Excel file, click in cell A1, press Control V, copy. Now you can see it came in in unique columns, and those numbers in the last column are actually truly formatted as numbers. You can see there's a sum, an average, Sometimes you get that lucky and it just automatically formats it like that. Now, if you don't happen to get that lucky when you go to paste it in, there's another thing that you can do. So go ahead and we'll close this text file. Back in Excel, we'll go File, Open browse and we'll navigate to where we have this text file Excel will default down here to Excel files only but you can change it to all files and right there you'll see that sample data so we'll double click it and this will open the text import wizard so the first screen will give us two main options here it'll be delimited or fixed width delimited means that there is a particular character that separates each column from the next column and fixed width means that at the 10th space or the 20th space or the 32nd space whatever it is that that is where the next column starts so here you can see we got this fiscal year and then this vertical line that's I call that a pipe character and then a period and then a pipe character and then an entity a pipe you can see then we've got what looks like a year 2023 then a pipe then an august which is a period and then a pipe and then l603 which looks like an entity and then a pipe so this is going to be delimited by that pipe character because it's not a fixed width you can see the year only takes four characters but fiscal year takes six five eleven so we'll keep it on delimited we'll go to next then it'll typically default to tab here with nothing in this other attribute so you want to select whatever that delimiter is i said it's this pipe character that's not one of the default options so we'll go to other and then in here we'll type this pipe character which is shift and then the key all the way to the right on your keyboard just under the backspace now you can see it's recognized fiscal year it wants to split 2023 it wants to split all the way across and you hit next and then it'll allow you to give each column a format so if you thought maybe there was something that would have a leading zero like if maybe you had an account and your assets started with a zero then you would want to find your account and you know make that a text for example once you've made those changes you can hit finish and then again you'll get that data into a nice usable format.
So I hope that helps if you get a text file. There's a couple different ways you can get it into Excel and then start analyzing it from there.